This is exactly the sort of boat that pirates will use to target their victims. It's really fast, it's very light, and it's extremely manoeuvrable. That means that they can come alongside, board and take over very easily. The question is what can you do about it? Switch to manual, start the wave. This state-of-the-art Transas simulator shows exactly what it's like to be attacked on a large merchant vessel. This is set up for off the coast of Somalia, and these boats that you can see out the front here are the pirates. And at this moment, in this scenario, they'd be firing at the bridge windows, trying to get the boat to slow down, which, of course, is exactly what you mustn't do. You must get the throttle open, you must get the ship going as fast as possible. You've got to start a gentle weave to create big waves that can upset the pirate boats. You've got to get the barrels uh, over the side of the ship to prevent the pirates getting uh, close to you. You've got to get all the netting, the razor wire, and the, the necessary wood and metal grates across all of the access and walkways to stop them getting on board your ship. You've got to call the Navy for help. You've got to get the Navy on the radio to the nearest warship. And you've got to get all non-essential crew into the safe area of the ship. But the Chandlers weren't on a big ship. They were on a 38-foot yacht. They wouldn't have been able to outrun the pirates and they certainly wouldn't have been able to keep going under fire. So in that situation, it's vital to have been prepared. If you're going into an area of concern, a dangerous area, is get as much information as you can from uh, local authorities, agencies that are available. Um, tell people where you're going, that, where you're running out of. Uh, make sure your GPS system's up and order running, and you've got a good positioning beacon. And unfortunately, if you do get attacked, don't show any form of resistance, because it'll only get yourself in trouble. And it's possible to take that advice even further and learn to say hello and welcome in the local language so your attackers know you're not going to fight back. Richard Scott, BBC News, Limington in Hampshire.